of their O's must go. Here we go. Introducing first, Phyla Red Corner, representing System Training Center. the son of MMA fighting legend, Anderson the Spider Silva. And I've sparred with Gabriel a lot of times. Gabriel has a very similar elusive style that his dad has. Great hands, great feet, but most importantly, he plays the game like an expert. No surprise that there's two belts on the line this evening. I wonder if the Spider's in the house. I haven't seen him yet. No, I haven't seen hey, him brother. either, hey, True. I'd imagine he's at a VIP a table somewhere. Right. And introducing his opponent, Fire the Blue Corner. inside the ring, Dan Bam Bam Stell. Introducing first, fight out the red corner. He stands at six feet, two inches tall, weighing at fight time at 163 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, representing System Training Center. For those of you who are not listening, both these fighters are 156 pounds and over six feet tall. Man, these are some big boys for this weight class. Gabriel Silva's ready, he's excited, he's dancing around a little bit in there. And Williams looks calm and collect. And there isn't uh, no headgear for this fight here, Troop. This is for the, the two belts, so the fighter's right belt, as well as the IKF belt. Touch of the gloves, Good Williams left gets right at it, and Gabriel, step, or Gabriel sticks him with a nice jab. So because this is for the belt, this is five rounds of two minutes of action for, for so Williams you Williams just threw a nice high kick that just barely caught the jaw of Silva. Didn't have much on it, so Silva just kind of laughed and shook it off. But that could have been a very damaging blow. A big overhand right there from Christian. So someone's thrown a handful of jabs so far this round that have been sticking through. He just followed that one up with the right hand. I think, Gabriel I think, Silva has fantastic boxing. I'd like to see him start boxing up Williams a little more. Williams there stepping in and throwing huge, powerful rear hand attacks, which are really easy to see coming, easy to counter, and easy to get out of the way of. Oh, good so game Gabriel by continues Gabriel. continues to use that jab the way he's using it. He's gonna really be able to nullify a lot of those rear overhand attacks. 
Oh, good teeth to the face. Oh, and a good head kick return by Christian. Hands down. Gabriel's doing a fantastic job of using head movement to try and bait Williams into attacking. He's so quick in and out of it that he's able to, to kind of put Williams in what I call the buffer zone, where he's kind of thinking about, whoa, 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 whoa. And that's when Gabriel's starting to throw in a counter back, or throw in and, and land some shots on him. Gabriel's doing a great job of showing patience as well. Even though he lands a shot on Christian, he's still touching, staying on the outside, landing his shot. I think that was a low blow. I think that's a low blow. Absolutely, unintentional knee, knee to the groin. Looked like it had some mustard on it, so that probably hurt. Like we said, unintentional though. I believe he has five minutes to see how, how things are gonna go. Yeah. Unintentional, things like that happen in combat sports. Absolutely, so corner is telling him to take Williams all definitely looked like it did hurt. Yeah, that one came in with some that, that came in with some heat on it. And so a lot of people think a cup gives you complete protection in the groin area. It gives you a lot, but it will still move around and smash things that it's not supposed to smash. Especially those knees that come from the underneath when it comes up. We got Williams back on his feet, moving around a little bit. He's got a few more minutes to Silva's doing a good job now, trying to time, time and, whoa. Time and, time and range Williams on Williams stepping. Is that some blood coming out of Williams' nose? It looks like it. I'm not sure if that happened in those punches just now or when that happened. But you can see that yeah, Silva's stepping back, stepping back, and then trying to, to throw a straight right down the middle. Christian Williams definitely throwing that big overhead right with bad intentions. The Silva fans are going wild. Yeah, I Silva's, get doing first. Fan. Go ahead. Silva's doing a fantastic job of controlling the range. And when he's controlling the range like that, he gets to pick when the, when the clashes happen, which is a great thing for a guy who's got a good jab. Where he's able to step back, use the jab to keep the guy away, range and time the guy, and then follow up with something more powerful. Lead with speed, shallow with power. Yeah, I gotta give that first round over to Gabriel Silva, true. I would agree. That's, it looks like they got all the blood stop, stop coming out of Williams' nose, but something like that makes it significantly harder to breathe through the nose, in which case forces the fighter to open his mouth to breathe, making him much more susceptible to knockout punches when the jaw's not clenched. Oh, so we're right back out to the middle of them getting the second round. Good leg kick by Jeff Christian. The beginning of the second out of five rounds because this is a championship fight. This is the first five round fight of the evening. And it's not one belt, it's two belts. It's two belts here tonight. <laughs> Silva getting a little warning but catching the leg and firing back. Oh, big right hand landed by Silva. Oh, nice spinning back kick by Christian though. That was, you could hear the sound effect that it made and the way the air came out of Silva, that landed nicely. I, got to, I mean, I'm so impressed with Silva's just patience and calm and collectiveness, but I know really shouldn't I'm be not entirely dad. surprised because You're exactly, right. who his dad is? His dad is known for that. His dad is an incredible striker who's fantastic at watching guys with a fight IQ where he's able to pick you apart and find these openings and capitalize on them very quickly. I do a lot of work with his dad. Arguably one of the best strikers in UFC history. Absolutely. And we're seeing in the sun here this evening. Oh yeah. Christian's bleeding out of his, his nose. It's coming out now a lot. Good left hook there by Gabriel Silva. Walking down his opponent. Again, so calm and collected. Good leg kick. Ooh, nice leg kick there. You see it almost pull the leg out a little bit on Williams. Christian is in danger here. I think. Williams looks like he's getting a little bit desperate. We're gonna get a standing eight count. Oh, and some of a little bit of taunting while he's in the corner getting the count. Yep, a little bit of showmanship. Again, after his dad, you see his dad do that kind of thing in the, in the UFC cage. Absolutely, you can really see the Silva is in the zone right now. 
He's, at, he's actually talking to him. Standing right in front of him, he's talking to him. Posing for the crowd. Silva's absolutely having a good time in there. And I think that's a really important thing to do, especially for the way that he fights. Very similar to his dad, where he goes in and has fun picking these guys apart. And he's doing that right now. And each round, this is the second time we see Williams go back to his corner. Each time he has more and more wear on his face. Yeah, Gabriel's just having fun out there, like you said, True. I like how he stepped up the aggressiveness and the moving forward. The first round, he was a little bit more moving back, finding the pace, and seeing the type of things that Williams likes to throw. Now in the second round, he came out. Now he's a little familiar with him. He starts picking him apart because he's able to read what Williams is doing. Probably something that he watched his dad do a lot of in training throughout his whole life. Silva looks fresh. Williams looks like he's walking into the third round. Christian starting to, oh, big right hand by Christian. Let's see if that wakes up Gabriel, gets his attention a little bit. Yeah, it didn't land too much, but you could tell after, after taking that, that Gabriel's a little bit smarter about throwing his attacks. He's gotten really confident in how that second round was going. So he came out and he was a little bit less cautious while throwing his attacks. After eating that right hand, throwing kind of, I don't know what I'd call it a lazy kick, but a kick that could have been better hidden than thrown. Now he's much more cautious about how he's stepping in and throwing. Yeah, Christian's significantly ahead on the scorecards, in my opinion. Yeah, Christian's really looking for that overhand right. Oh, good body shot by Silva. a fast fighter like Silva, who's gonna see it coming, get out of the way of it, and strike back. Uh, Christian is starting to throw one shot at a time. And that kind of thing usually doesn't work, Troop. I mean, you know. Especially like, against a guy who fights yeah. like as a Silva's fighter. fighter. Yeah. You know, or fights like his dad there it is. Yeah, those counter fighters, they start to time those single shots, and then they're able to capitalize after they make you miss. Absolutely, and you're also seeing a lot of good jab work out of Silva. Okay, another good jab, right down the middle. These jobs are setting off oh, the side. Oh, big right now. Oh, we're going to see another eight count. Waves it off in the third round. Oh, that Dominant win for Gabriel Silva. Taking home Silver. some new jewelry. I think that's a good call by referee. Christian Williams, does, he's looking like he's hurt over here on the ring. Absolutely. You can see he's really throwing and swinging hard. You got Gabriel lounging up in the corner. I'm impressed by Gabriel Silva's performance tonight. I didn't expect anything less, but wow, he looked fantastic. Yeah, what a fight he put Not up only that, he just got two points for Systems Training Center, who I believe is now in the lead with three points. Yeah, what a performance by Gabriel Silva here tonight. Well, while we wait for the official decision, we want to give a big shout out to Marisco El Gordo Seafood. George Francis with the fighter's rep belt, and I'm not sure what the second belt was. That, that's the IKF kickboxing belt, so he got both of those here tonight with an impressive performance. The impressive performance by the new sure, champ, sure, sure. champ. Sounds good, thank you. And let's go inside of the ring for the official decision, and let's get Gabriel his belt. Have you, bro. Oh, hold on. Thank you. Man, after 
watching Silva in there. He has all the potential Good in fight. the world. Good I'm fight. really yeah. excited to see the future for this kid. All right, five fans, let's make this one official. He's a tough guy, and we've watched him fight here at Fighters Rep. He is no slouch, but it just goes to show how good Gabriel Silva is in that performance. Absolutely, he put on a show here tonight, and he deserves these two belts. We're gonna go back inside of the ring and Gabriel, for, after a few pictures for the interviews. Gabriel calls over the ring girls. We need some pretty ladies in this picture. I got two belts, now I need two pretty ladies. score at home. Systems Training Center is now in the lead for the Fighters Rep Shield with three points. Honestly, I overheard George Francis, the promoter of uh, Fighters Rep, say this was one of your most complete and most impressive fights. How did you feel going into this fight?
place where you can fight professional. Just to let you know, right here, Fighters Rap. Hey, thank you, Fighters Rap, for doing great for having me. to go pro and I think that's very smart. He should continue to get good experience yeah, yeah. in before going pro. There's no big rush. Hey knuckleheads, be sure to smash that like button, comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to continue to support Fighters Rep.